kids and they're like no no poop cookies I don't want no poop cookies because they look like poop <laughs> so I am going to show you how to make them so the first thing you want to do always anytime you cook bake whatever you always want to wash your hands especially with the virus and how many people get sick what is it you have to sing the ABCs or happy birthday or whatever extremely hot water. Okay. Finger. Um, so the first thing I usually do, make room. And that's where your cookies are going to end up. And then you want to measure it out three cups of oatmeal into a bowl. So you got three cups of oatmeal and you set that aside. And then you want two cups of sugar. Should have used my other measuring cup that's actually two cups. And that goes in the pan on the stove. Two cups of sugar. And then uh, Baker's cocoa, which is unsweetened cocoa. And you want a quarter of a cup of that. That goes in the pan. guess with the butter, but it's usually about three tablespoons of margarine, butter, whatever you want to use. I just kind of guess at it. Whoops. And then a half a cup of milk. And that goes in there. And I usually put it on about medium. What do you think of cooking with taffy? <laughs> That's what I should do around Halloween. Make all kinds of Halloween goodies and show you guys how to do it. Like witch's fingers and kitty litter cake. And while that's warming up, I usually will measure out my peanut butter, which you want to measure out a half a cup of peanut butter. What you want to do is you want to get this up. You don't want it. You don't want your temperature too high, but you want to get it up to a little bit of a boil. Once it starts boiling, then you're gonna turn your heat down to medium and boil it for two minutes. Which that takes a little while. So. You don't want to leave this. You don't want to put this on the stove and really walk away from it because it will burn real fast. You kind of want to stir it. 
you don't have to constantly stir it, but... What else is there to do when you're waiting? So did anybody else get obsessed with the Watts case? <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. Diarrhea. This is the hardest part of making these cookies, is waiting for it to boil. Because you don't want it all the way up on high because you'll ruin them. They'll get so hard that they won't, cut. they fall apart. Okay, well I have that one set for two minutes. Once it starts boiling, you want to turn your heat down to medium and uh, set a timer for two minutes. Okay, so it's starting to boil, so I've got my heat turned down to medium, and I got my timer set for two minutes. And that one's, I guess it's still working. Set that one too soon. And while it's boiling, you want to constantly stir it. With the vanilla, you want just you know, the vanilla extract. It says about a teaspoon, but I usually just measure out two little capsules. And then you put the vanilla in and the peanut butter. And where's my, there it is. Oatmeal. Yummy. See, poop. It looks like poop. So, you get it all, all stirred up, all mixed together. And then you want to scoop it. That looks bright. By the spoonfuls. Onto the foil. Plops like poop, too. And there you have poop cookies. So you just let them dry, let them as they cool, they'll harden, and you just pull them up off the foil. They're really, really good. They honestly don't taste like anything other than chocolate cookie. Um, but there you are, Taffy's Poop Cookies. I love you guys. Have a great night, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.